So right behind this door is a 1966 Pontiac Bonneville that we've been called to save after it's been sitting just a mile away from my shop for over 35 years. Sorry, I was posing for the camera. After receiving the vehicle on a rollback, we had to perform some emergency water removal by taking the seats, the carpet, the insulation, the sound deadening pad out of the car to prevent any further water deterioration. Now, aside from the water damage on the inside, the exterior of this boat looks to be in pretty decent shape underneath all of the mold and the dirt. The client and I have some suspicion though that this Bonneville is a pretty rare car. So I've reached out to my good friend Dean from Pontiac Specialist to help us identify how rare this car really is. If anyone's going to know, it's going to be Dean. What's up, man? What's going on, You good man? today? I'm good. good to see you, man. How you been? I've been super. Good super good weather right now, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So listen. What's going on? I got a guy that's like a Pontiac Specialist, right? It's what he loves to do, it's what he cut his teeth on. He's just an older guy that just loves it, right? right? He's gonna be coming in a few minutes and he's gonna go over the car with us and he's gonna tell us some stuff that maybe we don't know, right? right. Or maybe some stuff that you know to tell him and he'll be like, oh, I didn't know. you know what I mean? So it's actually gonna be great to see you two together to say, oh no, well what about this right here? You know, just, just the continuity of you guys talking and seeing what's about to take place. Well guys, here's some information that I've found on the car. This is some uh, artist renderings of the car back in 66. The convertible style was what they showed on all the advertisements because everybody wanted to ride around in a convertible with the top down. Right. And back in the days, a convertible car, that was real fancy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got a car that's similar to this car right here. Uh, this one here's got air conditioning, whereas yours don't. But they're asking price on this car is one hundred and fifty-five thousand uh, dollars. I also found some information here on these particular year model car sixty-six. There was only five hundred and forty-seven Bonnevilles out of all the Bonnevilles made that had this particular engine package and particular transmission setup. Okay. That makes it pretty rare in itself, only being one of 547 made. Right. Uh, out of those 547 made, there was only seven with the 421 four-speed convertible top on them. Mm. The rest of them were all hardtop cars. So you're having a very rare car, it being a convertible with that engine package. Yeah. And it's got... Uh, a bench seat in it. Most of the cars come with bucket seats in them. Yeah. Yeah. And with the bucket seat cars, you either could have had a console or not a console. But with your particular car, it's got a bench seat. And all the research that I could find, or we could locate on all this stuff here, was it's the only one made, one of one, with a bench seat, 421, tri-power, four-speed transmission. The only one, one of one. Mm -hmm. So, so out of all the thousands of Pontiacs, this is the only one made specifically, specifically like, like this, that. with a bench seat, wow. with the tri power four twenty one and a four speed. Things just got real. So, what do you think about that car? I never knew all this. <laughs> <clears throat> Me either. I tell you, it's. Uh, I'm learning stuff about it that I didn't know because you know. Dad told me a lot about it. Of course, me being the age I was when he told me, I right. probably forgot a lot of the stuff. But well, when you're young, you may not remember all yeah. of it. You just know you got a car. Yeah. But you didn't know you had the car, the best <laughs> car. No, not at all. Well, what, what makes it the car and the best car to me is, is the fact that my dad, it's one that he, he had and, you know, that he, means he really a lot. cherished. Yeah, that means a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd like to just say, if there's anything else I can do on down the road to help you out on it, just let me know. Look. And I appreciate it, Jamie. It's yeah. good to see you good again. See you again I'm sure I'm sure. going to be in touch with you. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. You too. Have That's a good right. evening. You see you, man.
I'm in complete shock that a barn find this rare was sitting just down the road from my shop. I mean, look, I've passed this building every day of my life for the last 32 years. I saw the headlights sticking out of the garage and I would never have thought my rarest detail was just sitting there waiting for me. This car is gonna be a monster of a project. We're going to be taking this thing to as close to brand new as we can possibly take it making sure it's mechanically sound, restoring the upholstery, correcting the paintwork, removing the dents, polishing all the chrome, and even restoring the vinyl top. We're going to post the videos on every step of the process. So look, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a thing on this one. I guarantee you that.